I'm Michael Rain. I'm a uh, strategic communications professional turning a techie and co-founder of Z News Africa. And Z News Africa uh, is a mobile technology company that makes web, mobile, and email products for the Pan-African community. And I want to talk to you about our flagship product, uh, the, the Z News Android mobile app, uh, which is doing pretty well. Uh, it's doing pretty well in the App Store, 4.4 star rating, over 86,000 downloads. It aggregates and organizes news from over 170 publications in English and French and organizes it by topic. So uh, in February, we launched a, uh, an update to the app and we decided to uh, promote it and market it to see if we could get uh, more users and more downloads. Uh, we spent $10 a day for 30 days on a Facebook ad campaign and I want to share those results with you. So we had a pretty good uh, reach on Facebook. Over 1.5 million people saw the ad. Uh, over 66,000 impressions on Instagram, but we were able to, we, we were able to attract over 6,000 new users, which brought our acquisition cost to about four cents per user, uh, which makes us, which encourages us that with a pretty decent spend, we could build a great community of users that we could monetize and uh, study to bring better products to. Last year, we launched our weekly email newsletter. It's doing pretty well, over 4,000 subscribers, 38% open rate, and includes influencers in media, technology, uh, finance, uh, international affairs, uh, all checking it out to see what's going on with the Pan-African community. And the way, uh, this is my team, uh, Alpha Bob, my co-founder is back there. Uh, he's a <laughs> software. <laughs> He is a full-time techie. Uh, along with our advisory board, we're bringing experience in media, technology, uh, in Africa in general. Uh, Zenus Africa is also a member of Google, Facebook, and Microsoft's uh, accelerator programs for startups. And I want to tell you a little bit about why we're doing this. So these are just a few uh, folks who have some African identity but live in North America or Europe or some other part of the world. But they're, they're most likely a first generation immigrant in the United States or Canada. And it's really difficult to find news about Africa that's not tragic, right? And they also have a need uh, for news that meets their current identity, right? They might be American and Ghanaian like myself um, and also have a black identity and an immigrant identity. There's not a lot of publications or options uh, that meets that need. And to display that for some of you who can't personally identify with that, these are the, this is a re, uh, the results of a search for Africa in Google Images. I, with, with the exception of the maps, these were the first few images that I received. This is real. This is, uh, this is a problem for us. And Z News Africa believes that we can build the solution for all those people. We also want to take advantage of this trend here. Uh, so this represents the uh, growth of individual smartphone users on the continent of Africa. So between 2013 and 2015, it doubled. And three years from now, it's expected to be 720 million. Uh, the population of Africa right now, half of it is under the age of 20. So if you want to be a player in the Africa game at all, you have to have some digital product. And we believe that we're positioning ourselves to succeed in that space. These are some of the other players in our space. Some of them are Africa-specific publications. Some of them are aggregators. Some of them are mainstream news uh, that does some African reporting, just to give you an idea of who else is playing. So what's next? Uh, our iOS app is currently in beta and will launch this summer for those of you on iPhones. Uh, we're prototyping an SMS news service for those who have smartphones but are not as comfortable with technology for uh, any Africans in the audience or immigrants you might be your parents. And uh, we're, we'll also be producing original content as well. So let's, let's talk. Unlike Don, we are definitely looking for money, <laughs> and we'll take it. <laughs> but we're also looking for collaborators, techies, storytellers, anyone who's excited about what we're doing, excited about uh, technology or mobile. I uh, would love to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs>